Hi, uh, dyslexic genius here. I got the long case home running with, with the rubber inserts on the chassis and everything. And then I installed a new aftermarket belt drive pull. belt pulley. And these are very, very good reproductions, okay? Don't get upset about it, but they are very good. If this pulley is dying, crack and warp, you're gonna have to switch that out. And you can go look over eBay and stuff and try to find one that's in better condition, but it's easier just to buy one of these. What happens is, this edge right here, and this edge right here, this one's just a couple of hairs thicker. Okay, and this is just part of the manufacturing process and how they make them. And that's fine, It'll, it will work, and it'll work very well. But this is, for this pulley and for the shaft that goes through, it gets a little bent. So what you do is if you you put your original pulley back on, let's say, and the pulley is doing this number, okay, because the shaft that it rides on is a little bent, or it's going like this. What you do is you jack the speed way down on your machine, and you jack it up, on some two befores or something, and we're going to pull the tensioner pulley off, and you start it up. So you're going, see this pulley's running very, very straight. So let's say that you're watching the machine and it's running and your pulley's doing this, okay? That's because the shaft's bent. So the easy fix is it, you have, it'll say it turns this way. So we turn the machine on and we stop it because now we know it popped over this way a little. And that's the thing, you gotta stop the machine. Then you grab your fingers like this and you just kind of bend it the other direction because you have a high side here and a low side here because the pulley's sitting like this. So you're just gonna bend the whole shaft over a little. And then when you do that, it's running. But you have to watch where this pulley's moving. I personally, I bring it over this way that way I know where I'm going. Now, if it's doing this number, you just do it the same way, but this way, but you have to stop the machine. I had to shorten this bearing just a little, okay, because of the thickness here, because of the belt adjustment. And I did this on purpose because I ran it all the way over till it locked out against the casting and it was hitting, and I said, well, if I start adjusting the pulley, I don't even want to risk it hitting the bearing. So I took the bearing out. I, you can chuck this in a drill, or you can chuck it in a lathe. You just chuck it in a drill, have somebody hold it on, and you just file, file it down a little bit, and that's all I did. And then I polished it out a little with some 320. It won't hurt it. And this is how you fix that. The motor sounds great. I'm loving it. Yeah, we got it too slow. There we go. And that's a nice running home for long case. And I hope you enjoyed the videos. And that's my tip for the day.